So Aston Villa have just signed the biggest talent in Serbian football in Kosta Nedeljkovic. Although they're loaning him straight back to Red Star Belgrade, make no mistake about it, this kid is a future superstar. There's a reason Villa are paying close to 8 million quid for him, and it's not to link up with their reserves. Given Mari Cash is the only natural right back at the club, it's a position that's been crying out for a bit of depth, even though Ezri Konsa can do a job over there if necessary, especially considering Cash tends to get injured and suspended a fair amount. The way things are going right now, there's every chance in the world that Villa qualify for the Champions League next season. And that calls for new incomings, of which this fella's the first. He's already shown what he can do against the likes of Man City in the Champions League, and was even trusted by his manager to start away to rivals Partizan last month. And that's comfortably one of the most hostile atmospheres across European football, so expect him to link up with the Villa first team come the summer. Although Nedeljkovic came through the ranks at Red Star, he made his name on loan at Grafiker, and only recently established himself as a fixture in the 11 for the capital club. Aside from his versatility, which allows him to operate on the right wing as well as its centre half, this fella has numerous qualities about him that stand out, namely, an incredible engine, lightning quick pace, brilliant crossing, defensive discipline when it comes to positioning, exceptional movement, and to top it all off, a physique that allows him to compete in duels. I also love the way he attacks the space, and is willing to both over and underlap the winger while his side are in possession. That being said, he's not great taking players on one-on-one, -on -one, lacks conviction in his ball striking in front of goal, and is still quite raw in his decision making, although that's something which will likely improve with age. If you're expecting him to invert or play make from deep, then forget about it, because he'll be hugging the touch line from first minute to last, which for me is a positive, even if modern day football suggests otherwise. By all accounts, the kid works unbelievably hard and has no ego, which should put him in good stead to make the most of his unquestionable talent. Like with any other youngster from abroad, he'll need time to adjust to English football, and I'm sure Emery will introduce him slowly through the League Cup or as a substitute in the Prem when Villa have a comfortable lead. As always, I hope you found this video useful, implore you to check out the content on screen if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one folks. Peace.